Hello. Um, it's the 26th of October 2012, and I am on my school's trip to Japan. I'm not sure if I'm doing this vlog because I'm exceptionally bored, or because we're supposed to stay in our rooms, or because I want to talk to future me, or because my book's really small, or just because I think it would be good to do. We just spent over 16 hours in both airports and airplanes, like uh, long haul flights. It was actually quite good because we had, um, you know, like touch screens where you could choose the right film and uh, games consoles and everything. And the plug, we had a plug that we can just plug our uh, charges into so we can use whatever devices we wanted and Wi-Fi and phone calls if you are uh, inclined to pay money. We went to school at nine o'clock and we did the, uh, we waited outside, the teacher was our head, our main teacher, not our head teacher, our main teacher for the trip was late, but, and then the coach was late as well. So we got on the coach, did the whole, the passport thing, the group counting thing, where you, everyone goes into groups and you count, they count heads, and we did, we, so we got through passport security fairly easily. Now we're on to duty free, where we just sat around for an hour and a half. I, I bought two packets of sweets. It was like sixty p, but or no, it was ninety nine p. It was two for ninety nine. It was quite good. But that's because I looked for everyone else bought one pound eighty and got just one sweet. Uh, I downloaded I downloaded two new songs, for, three, four new songs for this trip, all from this guy on YouTube called Dom Ferrer, who does. Uh, the deck to Christmas things and one of his uh, like songs for just a song the only song of one of his songs for just a song is called My First Tune I've got it stuck in my head but I was I was going around the duty free acting like I only have uh, I only had a tenner to spend in pounds in shilling there and when going back so then otherwise we wouldn't have anything to spend in the duty free going back and then I open my bag and I found I find, I can't show you I find 15, 20 extra quid in a little bag that I just left there lucky me apart from that it's really boring we went through Dubai we went on a transfer from Japan from Manchester to Dubai to Dubai to, Dubai to Manchester uh, I got some free Wi-Fi's uh, the Dubai Duty Free was incredible, just flashing that you can feel the subliminal messaging seep into your brain. Um, but then, once in Japan, at first it was kind of it looked. At first, it looks like a Western country because all the air, airlines and everything they all have Roman letters on them. But then you get you go in a bit and you start seeing Japan Japanese kanji, hiragana, uh, katakana. And then you you see Tokyo. You leave the airport. You, you drive around a bit. And you see something that like the kind of things you never see in in Sheffield. You see, you might see it in London, I guess, New York. But I think Tokyo's got that thing. I was quite impre I'm impressed on how they manage. And how they do the... They have two roads on top of each other, which is really, in theory, something every place everywhere should do. Why not have two roads on top of each other? But, no. I've, like, I go around London... Like, when I go around London, I never see that. It's probably New York, but... Yeah, um, yeah all the houses here have... Uh, all the built, all, all the skyscrapers here have red dots on the sides for um, Godzilla to, to prevent from Godzilla, because Godzilla, as we all know, hates flashing red dots. Um, but, but, like, it's just at night, we drove through it at night, and you just see, like, the moon, the moon, and you've got the air, uh, the 
the water and sometimes there's like these different color multicolored light up boats. It's cool. And now we're in our hostel, which used to be for the Olympics, the Japanese Olympics, I can't remember what year. I've set up power plugs everywhere because that's me. I'm gonna connect to the internet and then read after that and check my email and everything. But um yeah, it's not a bad place. The shower here is a bath shower, that's what they call it. So there's three different hoses, shower shower handle things, um and a big communal showering area. Yeah, it's kinda like a, a swimming pool shower, but people overreact about it. Um Sayonara.